So now we're gonna look at how to configure a Fargate task. And the first thing you're gonna do is uh, using the task definition wizard in the Fargate console, you're gonna have to choose uh, how much memory and CPU you wanna utilize uh, entirely for all your tasks. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add containers and then allocate memory and CPU uh, for each based on the requirements, of, uh, based on the allocation that you've defined above. So here I have a Ruby and a Python container and you can see that I've split the memory uh, half and half for both. When you run the task, you can choose what VPC and subnet it'll run in. A lot of people think that there are no VPCs or subnets with Fargate because it's a uh, because it's serverless containers, but that's not true. So you do have flexibility uh, flexibility around that, uh, and you can apply security groups to a task. Um, this is a great way to um, you know uh, have a sec security around your tasks. And this actually could show up as an exam question, knowing that you can apply that. Uh, the reason why there's some uh, like this is such an important uh, uh, question is because, you know, would you apply the task to the EC2 container that's running the actual um, server, or would you apply it to the tasks? And this is going to apply for both ECS and Fargate. It's always at the task level. Uh, you can also apply an IAM role to the task. So uh, you can say for every individual task. Uh, delegated different um, um, po uh, policies. And just to reiterate here, you can apply a security group and an IAM role for both the ECS and Fargate. So that's for both tasks and services. And again, that might show up as an exam question.